Hey, hey, beautiful people. I'm Tavi from BeautyBeyondYourHead.com, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Beauty Beyond Your Head TV. So I decided we were going to stay home for Valentine's Day. My boyfriend has to work, and I'm prepared then. I want to take you along and show you what I made. And if you're interested in preparing a restaurant-style meal at home, I want you to stay tuned. I'll leave all the ingredients down in the description bar. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Thank you so much. So the first thing you want to do is make sure everything that you're cooking with is clean, your entire surface area. Any dishes that you're going to be using, pots, pans, everything that you're going to use to prepare the meal, you want to make sure it's clean. Use your choice of dish soap, however you wash your dishes. Wash them regularly. So I have my oldest washing a pot. So you want to have a pot of water, one tablespoon of salt. Salt helps the noodles to, to flavor just to season them and then it also helps the water to boil faster. Um, I can't tell you the measurements for the pot, but a decent sized pot because we're going to use a box of noodles. They are jumbo shells. You're going to see them in a minute and you want to make sure, there they go, you want to make sure you have a decent sized pot for these shells. So when the water begins to boil, you want to dump the shells into the water. Uh, I have my water on high. And um, once the water begins to boil, you stir, let them rest, turn them off. And you can undercook them if you want to. It's up to you. Turn them off. Then what I'm doing now is I'm going to drain them, flash them with cold water. You want to stop the cooking process. So then I have one fourth cup of water and a medium sized saucepan. I'm rinsing off my broccoli. I chose to use frozen broccoli. It's quicker. I want to work harder. I want to work smarter, guys. So I'm doing, doing this with one hand um, and trying to hold the phone. So I apologize for that. I'm just going to rinse the broccoli off uh, because it's frozen. I don't like the frozen water that's on it. But make your broccoli how you usually make your broccoli. I'm putting some Mrs. Dash into the pan and then... Um, a tablespoon and a half of butter. The butter is measured on the stick. So I cover that up and let it simmer on low. So then I have a fourth of a stick of butter, some minced garlic, and spinach. I make a lot of smoothies lately, so I just had a bag of spinach on one hand. I'm simmering that on a medium heat. Um, you can use olive oil. You don't have to use butter. Here I have my youngest, my middle son, peeling the shrimp. I have a pound of raw uh, shrimp and um, use whatever shrimp you want. What we did was rinse them and then we put them into the spinach, the garlic and butter. I set it aside and in that same pan, I'm moving kind of fast, I put milk. You can use heavy cream and butter. All of the cheeses are listed below. We're making a sauce so I am pouring the cheeses into the pan. Season it with some Old Bay. Use whatever seasoning you choose, but because it's a seafood, you want to use some Old Bay. I had some egg in a separate pan and the remaining cheese, and I'm going to mix it all together. Add some crab meat, whatever crab meat you choose to use. I use claw meat, chicken of the sea, as you can see. I empty the contents into that bowl that I've already mixed the cheese, the eggs, the shrimp, spinach, garlic, Season it however you choose to. Now I'm going to stuff my shells. I couldn't show you how to stuff it and hold the, the phone and prepare it. So just stuff your shells. Open them and stuff it. This is what I have left. And this is a decent amount for what we've made. This is about 25 shells. The sauce has been cooking the entire time. I'm occasionally stirring it. Now it's melted and enough. And I'm pouring it into the pan with the shells. I've sprinkled some remaining cheese onto the shells. And I am just spooning the sauce from the pan that's been simmering on a medium heat or low uh, into the pan. Because you don't want the shells to stick. So the sauce, if you want to pour the sauce in before you stuff your shells. I just did it this way because I needed something to hold them. It's a lot. I can't do all that. I don't, I'm not an octopus. And I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I don't want it to be messy. So you're just spooning the cheese sauce from the pan into the 
opinion that I got this from the dollar store. Um, two of them actually to to hold up. You know, the pants are fairly thin, and um, that's basically it. Cover it with some extra cheese, um, and it's a lot of sauce. It, it I'm actually going to use the rest of it. You'll see in a minute. I'm going to use the rest of the sauce um, and freeze the remaining uh, mixture because I'm going to make a crab dip uh, for my friend's birthday party. So, um, that's it. Once you have spooned and you're satisfied with the sauce amount, you want to put it in the oven, cover it, and put it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. An hour, give or take. I took it out of the oven. Uh, halfway through, I took the foil off, and this is what it looks like. I baked it the rest of the way with the foil off to kind of brown it, crisp it up. And this is what the seafood stuffed shells look like. I also had some steak. I seasoned it up. Olive oil. Season it how you choose to. I just had some peppers, onions, butter, and some seasoning. Put some aluminum foil on it. Put it in the oven. And we have some Texas toast. Remember, this is a simple dinner. Now, if you don't want to do all of this, you can go out. That's what you choose to. I'm excited about this meal. It was very intimate. Um, once I put the bread into the oven, I took the aluminum foil off the steak and put it back in. So here's the steak out of the oven after the aluminum foil has been taken off. Uh, putting the steak in the oven, it cooks faster. It's moist. And here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I talk pretty fast, but I'm super excited. Let me know if you try it out and tell me tell me what you think. Again, all my social media is here. I want you to connect with me. Please thumbs up this video. Like it. Share it. Comment. Um, check the description bar for the ingredients and everything in great detail because this was just a tutorial. Uh, it would have been long if I had to went through it thoroughly, but to the next video, be blessed.